Here is my latest completed craft caddy with boxes for each pocket. If you want to see how this was done, stay tuned. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the prep work, okay? And for the body of the craft cat, this big part right here, you're going to need two pieces of paper. And whatever paper you choose is up to you. Card stock, designer paper, I, I, it's up to you. You're going to need two of those cut at 12 by 10. And on the 10 inch side, you're going to score at a half an inch and at six and a half inches here we go half an inch and then six and a half inches then you're going to do a quarter turn on the 12 inch side you're going to score at three inches at six inches and at nine inches then we're going to fold on the score lines well at least fold on this one first Adhere this down. Let's see. I think this is the really the only one that I hadn't done. Okay, so then, and that should look some like this. It's not totally dry yet, but we're gonna keep moving. And we're going to go back and we're going to fold on the 3 inch, the 6 inch, and the 9 inch score marks. And the grants are here as you can hear. And I do apologize for the noise. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I'm catching a head cold. on the 9x score line. Like so. And we're going to release these tabs here at the bottom just by cutting from the bottom of the paper up to the score line. should have two of these that look like this. Okay, uh, an additional thing that I did was I took off about, I guess it's one sixteenth of an inch on both sides, only so that it would like uh, marry better. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. Because our our caddy is actually six sided, but as you can tell, we have eight sides. So this is actually going to fit, they're going to fit inside each other like so. If I can get it. They're going to do something like this. So they're going to be one fit inside the other. So what I'm going to do, this is the one that I shaved. The, okay, this is the side that I just cut little slivers off. So what I'm gonna do is attach them to just like this. So let's do that. And also remember which which ones you do this with because this is the these are the panels that you're gonna use to put your handles on. And I'm going to try to be a tad bit generous, as much generous as I can be. Okay, let me put this right here. And then I'm just going to attach it to this one. Let's see if I can get it as straight as possible. 
and take this thing and spread that adhesive out. There we go. So that's one down. Make sure I don't I didn't glue the other side down good. I did not. And now we're gonna glue this side down. Okay, let's get this in here. Try to get to the edges. But I don't want to put too much that it seeps over into the other ones. At least I hope not anyway. Put the adhesive here. And let's get this part on. And get the adhesive spread out. There we go. There we go, and now it should look like this. Now you have your six sides. Okay, next what we're gonna do. Okay, next we're going to get this bottom part done. Now what I want you to do, because you're gonna have these, see these flaps right here where you got the two together. If you wanna cut one of those away, feel free. But I'm leaving them to add extra sturdiness to the bottom of the bag. Okay, I'm just going to take the two that were, you know, the ones that are overlapping each other. I'm just going to marry those for right now. Just because. And I'm going to check these out and see how I can make all of these fit together. So, Because this one needs to fit here so this can line up. Let me see if I got a paper clip. Because they actually are, they're the same size in theory. So they kind of need to, they should be able to all square up, to be totally honest. take that first one loose okay so let's see how we're gonna get this to work if this wasn't a tutorial yeah y'all don't want to see what I would be doing right about now cuz I just usually go like okay I'm gonna make this work but I want this to be a good tutorial for you guys Okay. Let me put that one on the bottom. Let's see. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure that everything kind of lines up. And I think. Okay, something like that. So I think that's going to be good. So. Let's get this glued down. Give me a sec. So I went in using my refill bottle. And I put um, a nice generous helping of adhesive down there. And I'm just going to use my hand to manipulate this into the direction that I want it to go. And I'm going to press this down. There we go. And this should anchor the box pretty much because the other pieces are kind of in place and I got them being held together with paper clips so this should be just about right so that is how the box is looking so far and I'm gonna turn this over and we're gonna get the rest of these adhered down And I'm going to use the refill bottle so I can go ahead on and get a generous amount there. Okay. 
like I said, the only thing I don't like about this is I have to hold this until it sets. Because I can't put like a paper clip on it and then go back and take it off. Wonder if I could put it, actually put the paper clip on it and then turn it over and mash on it. Yeah, let's do it that way. So I can mash on it to get it stuck down. There we go. And then we're going to do this last one. And see how it almost just falls into place? It's a little bit off, but that's okay. So. And I personally have never been able to get stuff like this done just totally correct. There was a another purse that I was trying to do. And I, 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 I was just never, ever, ever able to get that purse to act right. It was okay in the end, but it just really wasn't right because I couldn't get these to line up properly. And this one is still off a little bit, as you can tell, like right there. It's off a little bit. But we're not going to split hairs about that either. And I should have adhered them down to each other, but I can go back and do that. So what I'm going to do is just put some, I will go into these spaces. I don't know if you'll be able to see inside of there. I will go into those spaces, put some adhesive in there, and mash to get these stuck down so they can play nice together. this out okay I got a piece of yellow right here love leftover yellow I'll we'll put that right here and just gonna mash down and get this stuck really well hopefully think we got that pretty good I'm just gonna put this aside for a second to let that dry while I clean up my mess right here all right now that we got this part done let's set this aside and let's get started on the outside pockets and let me pull this one of the camera excuse me we're going to need you're gonna need six, six, six. You're gonna need six, six by six inch squares, and this is how we're going to uh, score them. You're gonna score at one half inch, four and a half inches, and five and a half inches. Then you're gonna do a quarter turn. You're gonna score at one half inch, one and one half inches, four and one half inches, five and one half inches. Okay. So if you need to stop the video and take a snapshot real quick, that is what this looks like. Once you do that, you're going to remove these pieces here. Just totally cut those out. And then you're going to cut on, on this line just to release the tabs. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. It looks just like this. So you're going to remove these pieces here totally and then you're going to angle cut right here to release the tabs from the paper and it'll look just like that. So let's get this part put together. I'm going to fold on all the score lines. Ok, 
Okay, just about done. Okay, now that we got that part done, we're going to adhere the tabs that we released. We're going to adhere these two side tabs right here. We're going to adhere those to the inside of the box. So let me get the adhesive here. Hopefully it's I hope it didn't dry in there. Oh, good, it didn't. And I'm just going to get these attached here. Try to get those squared up. There we go. And now I'm gonna come back and close off this part. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this on the outside of the box, okay, or the pocket. Pull this up. Try to make sure it's squared. And we're gonna get these adhered together. And we need six of these. Let me see, do I have something to hold these in place for a little while? Let me see. I want to push that down and make it break away. I just needed to hold it in, in place just for a little bit while we go on to the next phase. I just set that aside. Okay, that was that little outside pocket. And this is the strap. You can do your strap however you need. This is just a piece of 2x12. And I scored it and glued it together. That's all this is. You can make your, your strap as long or as short as you like. Excuse me. And for... The, okay, actually, you can stop right here if that's what you want to do. But when I first did this one, I thought about making boxes to go here. And guess what I did? And I went on and made the boxes, mainly because there were two people in the comments that said something about the boxes. I said, well, I might as well unlazy myself because I was going to do the boxes anyway. Just go ahead on and do the boxes. So I have the measurements for the boxes right here. You're going to need six eight and one eighth by six inch squares or rectangles. And these are for each individual box, okay? And this is how you will score them. You will score them at on the, what is this, the, on the eight and one eighth inch side. Or let's do it this way. If you hold it like this, you're going to score it at seven eighths inch. Three and five eighths inch, four and a half inch, and seven and one quarter inch. Then you'll turn it one quarter, and you will you will uh, score at seven eighths inches on that side, and seven eighths inches on that side. So it'll look like that. Then what you want to do is fold on all the score lines, and then go back and release the tabs. Okay, don't cut them off; just release them. And once you do, you have a piece that looks like this. Now I went ahead on and used a small decorative die that I had and cut out a window. But this is how the box will look once you get it all cut out. And now let's get this together. I'm just going to put adhesive on these tabs here. And these will form the box. And hopefully it won't dry before I get get it done. Okay, right there. Right here. Just making sure that it's squared. Right here. And this is the easiest box tutorial that I have ever come across. 
and I will put the link to where I got this from because it was not my idea because I was like that's the reason why I didn't do the boxes because I thought it was going to be some hard thing the hardest part was was figuring out the measurements but I thought it was going to be something super hard I'm like I'm not going to do that and come to find out I came across this box tutorial and it was super easy so now I'm going to adhere these two tabs right here and why didn't y'all tell me box making was this easy gee willikers y'all know I'm slow okay there we go and watch this it just closes look at there easy peasy so now we have this box and we need six of these so we got the base here we got let me take this off we got our pockets here and as a matter of fact look fits right in with a little room to spare with a little extra hanging out because that's what I wanted just enough so that you can go in and pull it out and we have six of those and I've already done those right here and here are the rest of the boxes so now what we're going to do is get these put together okay I'm going to show you how I put these um, pockets on I'm not going to say it's the best way but this is just how I did it okay and the reason why I say it may not be the best way is because I had to some of these are off like I said and so I had to hold it in and hold it and you know that type of deal and I was actually going to use hot glue with this so it'll go ahead on and adhere but I changed my mind at the last minute I said no nah. and see this one this box right here is actually off you can see it let me see if I take this apart if I can redo it because it's it's totally one sided let me put now let me do it I guess that comes from me not paying attention because it wasn't squared at all not in the least so I'm going to where's my I'm going to put a clippy on here to hold it in place while it dries and we're just going to go grab another box okay so what I'm going to do here is just like this I'm going to line it up with the bottom here and we're going to put this on and like I said the reason why I was going to use hot glue so that it would go ahead on and grab I really don't suggest using hot glue as a permanent something for this project the hot glue for me would have just been for the video so we're gonna do this and just like this and I'm gonna hopefully I, I can't see on that side but hopefully I got it inside of the lines Okay, and this should look something like that. And I'm going to go back. Let me find my bone folder. I think I put it in the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I have a longer one. And it just fell on the floor, of course. Let me reach down here and grab it. So I'm going to use my bone folder and try and make sure that these get adhered down like so. Just come in like this. So it'll I'll try to get it as flush as possible so that it doesn't interrupt the box when it slides in. So I'm going to do one more and the rest I'm going to do off camera because we'll be here for the rest of the day. Oops. Yes, I am. Okay, the next one. 
and I'm going to try to line them all up together. There we go. I'm using the bone, my bone folder to get the bottoms and down there down. The corners back here. Got to get those adhered. And I know you guys can't see and I apologize. But the struggle is real. I'm trying to put my hand where I need to have it so I can apply pressure to the pocket and to the box at the same time so and that's how it looks I don't know again if you can see in there or not I tried to get it as flush as possible and I'm gonna go off camera and adhere the rest of these boxes okay right now all the boxes are on and this is the time to go back and see if you need if any of your boxes need any additional attention as you can see, my craft caddy is not perfect. Some of the boxes are seem to be a tad bit larger or than some of the other ones. Or maybe the whole thing could be one-sided. I don't know. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. I've just been going back and making sure that my, my boxes are adhered. I'm trying to make also sure that the, the insides are as flush as possible. So that when I insert the the boxes themselves, the individual boxes, that there won't be any obstruction. So that is how it's looking right now. And as you can see, you can take these boxes and just let them fall into place. Even though the craft caddy itself is not perfect, everything fits perfectly. Look at there. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that that strap in place. The thing is now I got to find it. Oh, here it is. And again, I'm just going to use uh, thumbtacks to put it in place for right now because I can't find my little snap tool. But what we're going to do is find these this place where we adhere the two sides because that's the most the most sturdy part. Let me take these boxes out right here. And all I'm going to do is eyeball it. It's nothing serious. That's about the middle, maybe an inch down. I got some thumbtacks right here. Excuse me again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm catching a. I ain't gonna say I'm catching. I got a head cold right now, and I'm just gonna just poke this through. Cause like I said, this is temporary for me until I can get my 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 um my little snap kit replaced. Cause I really cannot find it. I'm actually upset about that too. And I'm just gonna push that through just like that and let me see I, I may be able to go ahead on and bend this a little bit just so I won't stick myself on this all. side try to make it about the same that may be about the same so I'm just eyeballing this I'm not being real precise with it because like I said this is just temporary Come on, don't stick me. And I'm just going to bend this and hope that I won't break it. Just bend it out the way enough so I just want it to hold long enough so that I can finish the tutorial. 
There we go. And is, is there anything else? Let me put these back. Oh, feet. Miss V Ball, Miss Miss Veronica. She B L B L B Allen, Miss Allen. I think it's B L B Allen, but Miss Veronica. She asked about you know possibly adding feet, and I'm like, okay, we could we could possibly do that because I have enough thumbtacks, that's for sure. So we can add some feet via the thumbtacks. So let me take these boxes out first. And I'm going to turn this upside down. And ooh, I could probably use that. But anyway, here's the thumbtack. I'm just going to remove this little part right here. And these are some really old uh, needle nose pliers. And I'm just going to put that there. And I'll put my hand over it like this. Cause it may pop out the way. Oh, there we go. It didn't do too much. Thank goodness. And I'm just gonna take this off. There we go. And on these six points, like right here. And the way that this thing is like out, I don't know if it'll make a difference or not. But you know what? Let's do this. I cut a bottom piece out. I thought I did anyway. Let me see if let let's cut out a piece for the bottom. Okay, here it is. I just kind of haphazardly traced around the box itself and just got this little piece and it doesn't fit anything anywhere. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere this down and we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and put feet on the bottom of this. Y'all, I didn't know it was raining. It is seriously raining outside. Well, see, I use my cricket. Yeah, I had it holding putting some weight on this thing and as you can see y'all look at this this bag is nothing to be played with I got a 12 ounce can of uh, paint spray paint a 16 ounce bottle of nail uh, polish remover and this bottle of glue yeah it's it can hold a lot Ooh, I wonder what would happen if you made a smaller pocket to go right there Ooh, that would be interesting but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna let y'all do that I'm gonna let y'all do that, and oh, Miss Paulette, you can do that, and then you can we can call it uh, whatever the name of this thing is, 3.0 or something. I don't know. I'm just kidding, y'all. Yeah, don't don't pay me no attention. But you can do it though. I'm, whoever, I don't care. Okay, so now we got that part done. Turn this puppy upside down, and we got these pieces of the the tax that. You know, we just pull the little stick part off. So let's just see if we can make yeah, these into feet. The tool. Here we go. We'll take the pokey tool. And we're just gonna poke a little hole right there. Let's see if we can get that in there. stubborn okay I got it in there you have to dig up put a hole there and, and dig it out a little bit so I'm just gonna put some glue right there and it's just to hold this in place because it's not going all the way through the bag it's just to hold that little foot right there that's all it's for now I'm gonna do one more show you guys what I did and I'm right here at the at the point just gonna make a little hole right here. Test it out. And make it a little bit bigger. Oh, I missed it. That's what happened. Okay, and I'm just going to put 
put some ad adhesive on here. I'm going to put this on this one this time because I don't want to miss, miss it. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do, of course, is go off camera and finish this. Okay, guys, that is how the tacks look that we have converted into feet for the craft caddy here. And this sucker is very sturdy. And we're going to put these back now that we got the feet on. There we go. So here is, let me raise this. Okay, is that good? Okay, here is the finished caddy with the six boxes in the pockets. These have, I think that's uh, not acetate, but I think that is some leftover, oh my goodness laminating sheets I think that's what that is I save my laminating sheets the pieces so that when I do like the pop-up boxes I have those pieces to use to um, uh, adhere the extra pieces also things look like they're floating but this is the caddy what I will do also is put all the measurements in the description box below so check that okay guys this is it I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this tutorial if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments I truly appreciate it come back anytime and I see you all in my next video bye bye love bugs